Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I'm Penge, and welcome to Growth, a game where we explore and populate a world of hex tiles, but we don't put down terrain based textiles to build the world up like a lot of other games would have us do, instead we have to use the unique abilities of animals. So boars can move quite a long way around the map, bees can fly, yes there are bees, and as we all know bees are the best animals, so that's completely brilliant, all the animals have their own unique abilities that help us do what we need to do, and the idea is that we explore the map, moving from habitat to habitat, discovering new animals and also discovering interesting things along the way. It's all very lovely, it's really really nice, it's a calm, relaxing, laid back game, it's one of those, there's no time pressures or anything like that, it's a good cup of tea game, I think that's a fair way to describe it, and as you can see on the menu screen here, it does look very good as well, it's got this sort of very happy bright art style too, which is quite nice. So do you know what, I think without any further ado, let's dive in and play some growth. Okay, okay, here we go, welcome to the world everyone, although right now we don't really know that much about the world apart from the lovely colourful tiles we can see in front of us there. So all of these coloured in hexes we can see these. So the greens and the browns, the trees over here and here and the little bit of water here. We can see those but everything else beyond this starting area is a complete mystery to us. We have no idea what lies out there in the world and that's what the game is all about. We have to go and explore, we have to go out there and look for things. We have to find other animals, other habitats, we find points of interest and that's what the game is about and I quite like that. It's a lovely laid back exploration game about going out there and finding stuff which is quite fun. There is a little bit of strategy involved though because if we do run out of animals, which we can see down here, then it's game over. So we do have to make sure that we keep a good supply of animals going on because we want to keep exploring. So there is a little bit of strategy involved, but it's going to be fine. It's laid back strategy. It's all going to be wonderful. So I think let's go and take a little look around, shall we? So we know about this bit of the world. All of these kind of gray and white hex tiles here, they're like fog of war. So as we move toward those, they will disappear and what's underneath will be revealed. So I think maybe we zoom out just to see what we're working with. So how big is the map? The map is quite big. It's quite a big map. The map itself is a big hex, which I quite like. That's quite good. So we've uncovered the middle of the map. And I think, yeah, we've uncovered, what, 6% of the entire map there. That's the progression bar. Explore 80% of the current map to fill the progression bar and complete the area. Oh, okay, right. So there is a way to sort of, air quotes, win the level if I can move to the next. Okay, so we've got to get that up to 80%. Crikey, is okay. However... I do notice there's something over here and something over here. What's that exactly? So something on a hill by the look of it, it looks a bit like a building. It looks a little bit like a building, like a broken building of some kind. I don't know when this game takes place. Does it take place in the far flung future after humanity's wiped itself out and that's some sort of long forgotten structure that's just sitting there now idle and dormant? I don't know. Okay, what's that one? That looks like a similar sort of a thing. Okay, right, so I think we head toward those. I think we do our best to go in that direction and try to find, I mean, is that one nearer? That one I think is a bit nearer, so possibly we should head over there, although there is a bit of water here. And the animals we're starting with are some deer, they can travel short distances over land, and we have a boar, they can travel long distances over land. However, we have some water over here and they can't go over the water which is a bit of a nuisance. So we might have to try and work our way around that until we can find some sort of flying animal friends that can help us go over the water. So possibly we're gonna have to head over in this direction, but that's okay, that's okay, that's fine. We'll get there soon enough. So what we've got is, we've got these animals here. They're in little habitat. We put our mouse over these kind of trees here. There's six of them in the habitat. There is some sort of thing in the middle there. I don't quite know what that is, but there are six tiles in the woods. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the left there, when we mouse over, we can see what things we get for the particular size of that habitat. So a forest habitat of two squares on the left there. I can't sort of mouse over it because it'll go away. But on the left, that will give us one deer. And if we have a forest habitat of four tiles, hexes, squares, we've got, they're not squares, they're hexes, punch. Uh, a size of four gives us two deer, but we've got a size of six, which gives us two deer and a boar to work with which is quite handy. And all the different habitats have their own unique animals and combinations and all that kind of stuff. So we need to go and have a little look around. So we can see around the edge of the habitat here, there are some slightly darker tiles. And that means that, yeah, they're next to a habitat. And we can see here, these ones are also a little bit darker. 
So I think we can work out that maybe there is another habitat over here somewhere. There's some trees over there, I suspect. So what we do is we click on this and we say, okay, I would like to deploy a deer. So the deer can go, what, three squares. So if we send the deer over to there, for example, the deer is going to poodle over, hold it down. And there we go. We found another habitat, which is wonderful. And I think what happens as well is that, yeah, the creatures are specific to their individual things. So over here, look, we've got the boar, but the boar isn't available over here. It's not like a sort of a, a pool of resources we can use wherever. We can't use the boar from that wood because the boar lives over in this wood. And I think as well, did they actually disappear off the map? So there was, was there another deer down there? Now it's gone. I'm not entirely sure if that's the case, but um, okay, I don't know. So now we've got some mountains over here. That all looks very barren. Okay, so there's going to be nothing up there at all going on. So I suspect we might have to go up here because there are some more darker tiles or possibly down here. Um, okay, what we do is I think from here, where can you reach exactly? You can go there. Okay, so send a deer over there. Okay, wonderful. Some more habitats over here, some more forest. However, a lot of wilderness. Just kind of, you know, bleak, barren emptiness. Okay, we can't go in that direction. We can't go over there. Uh, that is a little bit of a nuisance. Okay, so come back down to this one. We're going to use our deer. Hang on, hang on. Uh, maybe the deer, maybe, hang on, that's a bit strange. So maybe the resources pool if the habitat is sufficiently big enough. So if that habitat there was a size six, we could send the boar from that habitat or that habitat by the look of it. I think that's how it works. So we have three deer available. The deer can go from either of these, from any of these three, but the boar can only depart from this one because it's the only one of the requisite size. Oh, right, I see. I see, I misunderstood that. Okay, no, right, that makes a bit more sense. So I think grab a deer, put the deer just there, Okay, this is potentially a little bit of a bad starting area because we are trapped. We're stuck. We are very, very stuck indeed. We can't do too much about it. There's a lot of wilderness over there. There's some mountains over here. A lot of wilderness over here. So I don't think the deers can do anything else. The deers can't go anywhere else. Um, we could go there. Can we go there? Does that uncover that bit of the map? We can't go over there because we can't cross the water. I suspect there's going to be some water over there. Possibly this level is a bit of a dud for us. Maybe this one is just a bad starting option. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe. Can we send the boar out to there? Or hang on, can the deer get out to there? Can we send a deer to there and it just not work? Right. It has changed into a habitat. So it's changed into a size one thing. Oh, I see what we should have done. Oh, I see what we should have done. I think you can tack things on, can't you? So I wonder if there's something over here or something down here. Okay, let's try that show. So hang on a minute. So we'll get ourselves a deer to go just there. So that habitat is now a size four. So now there are some more deer coming from here. But do we come out of that, send another two deer over here to make this a really big habitat so make that a size six and now we have another boar to work with and the boar could come down here and hopefully find something fun down here uh, i don't think they can travel to those tiles because we have to go through the ones before them first i think yeah i don't think we can go to the furthest tile so let's send the boar over to here shall we okay oh hang on there's a bit of something over here there's a bit of meadow or desert or prairie or something there. The only thing is, we've only got one animal left. So we have to hope that this results in us finding some sort of new habitat or it's going to be game over quite quickly. Although to be fair, that does seem like quite a tricky starting location. So let's send the boar over there. Okay, we found, we found bees. We found bees. This is brilliant news. Okay, so I think we get our bee friend. We've only got one bee. We are clinging on here by the skin of our teeth. Um, and we can see there is a yellow bit there. So let's hope that there's some more lovely kind of, whatever that is, like a, I don't know, a flower patch, a meadowy bit. Let's hope there's something over here, look. So pop that over there. Right, okay, yes. It's moved on a little bit. This is brilliant, okay. Uh, the only thing is, 
Yeah, this is a little bit of an issue, isn't it? We've got one B that can fly over water, but that was no use there, of course, because they're all the way down here. Um, if we go here, if we go there, if hang on, can we go here? Because I think, yeah, those darker tiles there would imply that there's some sort of, is there a forest over there? Uh, yes, there is. Now we have one deer. Oh dear, right, okay, this, oh dear, huh? uh, this is not going very well. That was an awful pun. Let's put that there, look. Right, a big forest. Okay, we've been saved. We've been saved by the bees and a very speculative trip out over here by the boar, which was a little bit fortunate, to be fair, but there we go. Yeah, I forgot. I did do the tutorial, but um, yeah, I forgot that where you place an animal, so where it, you sort of, yeah, where you actually send it to go and visit, it does turn into a tile of that particular type. So the deer turn into forest, the bees turn into the little kind of meadowy things. I forgot about that. So that does help going on into the future. So here we go. We've got some deer. That tile does look a little bit darker. Is that relevant to anything? Does that mean there's something over there? I'm not sure. Do you know what? We'll send a deer out there to go and have a look. Uh, no, it was next to some water, but there is potentially something over here. Okay. So if we go, hang on, where can the deer get to? It can get to, uh, it could get to there and it might reveal, what's all that there? Is there another big bit of, hang on, there's a bit of forest there. So if we put you there, that means we can now depart from here. Okay, so if we then put you there, ah, right, okay, bees. This is good because from down here, we can get a boar botherations, okay. That's not going to fly. So maybe we need to attach that bit of forest there to these bits here to make that a size six forest to give us a boar and some deer to work with. Maybe that's what we have to do. Okay, so get us a deer, put the deer just there. Get us the boar, put the boar just there. That's now a nice big thing. Okay, we have one boar to work with. Now we should be able to go here and hopefully it uncovers some more stuff. And we're nearly at that thing. We're nearly at that thing. Whatever that thing is, I'm not quite sure. Right, okay. B friend, you can fly over water. Now my own, the only risk is, if we put it there, we know that's gonna create a three and that's gonna be fine. And then three, hang on a minute, three means, uh, I mean it's two for the bees, but yeah, so three means that we're gonna get at least one more B. If we put it there, it's still going to be a three, but it might connect to some other things. So I think we go there. Okay, that didn't work entirely according to plan, but never mind. So go over here, look. We can fly there. Oh, if you connect to the points of interest, they turn into huge, big, exciting things. Oh, look at that. We've got a lovely meadow with a thing in the middle of it. A little sort of statue of some kind, possibly. I'm not quite sure what that is, but okay. That's quite nice. And we have three bees. We've got three more bees to go and play with. Okay, so there are some woods over there. So if we head over here, okay, we've connected to those woods. So now we've got a couple of bees and we have a deer. Although over there does look a little bit kind of barren, doesn't it? Okay, hang on. Send the deer out to here. Ah, there we go. Right, it connected up to some more woods, which is brilliant. Um, that all looks very sad and empty. But we have got a couple of bees. Uh, could we, if we put them out there, they could go one, two, three, and kind of venture out that way, possibly? Or should we send them somewhere else? Do we send them over into this part? Well, there's some yellow there, so maybe if we put them over here, we could kind of continue exploring in this part of the world. I think over here the deers have got it covered, so let's go over here with the bees. Let's do what we just suggested. So put that there. Okay, next to some more bees. That's wonderful. Uncovered a bit more map. We're on 50%. We've uncovered half the map, apparently. Oh, and we really have. Okay, okay, right. That's good. That's a good thing. I thought we'd not quite covered anywhere near that at all, but there we go. So all we've got to do is get another 30% of the map, and we are going to be fine. Now, the only thing is, I'm not entirely sure where we can go now with the bees. We could send a bee here, and then send another bee there, That'll generate a new bee from here. And then we have to hope that, yeah, if we connect that up there, look, and then there's a deer. Uh, we've got three. Oh, now this is tricky. We've got three deer. 
that could go from this part of the world, but there's not that much down here. I suspect that's going to be sort of barren and empty as well. So maybe we should go over here with the deer. Let's use our three deer over in this direction. So go to there. Okay, this is good. Then go to there. And then the final one, we've got two. Okay, hang on. Then one, hang on, go from here. No, not from that one. Go from that one. Connect that up to there. Okay, look, 58% of the map uncovered. That is fantastic. Do we try and uncover that corner bit? We've only got two deer left. And we are running low on places to go from. Hang on, can we go from... Can we go from there? We can go from there, but not from there. I don't know why we can't leave from there. Maybe it's because it's on the edge of the map or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, the deer also cannot traverse mountains, of course. They can't go through there. Ah, right, okay, so that sort of puts a blocker on that. There's no bees, we can't cross that bit, and there's mountains. Okay, we can't do any more over there, so we're going to have to think about going somewhere else with the deer. So how are we going to do this? We could potentially get a deer from here and put it there, and then another, well, that would give us two, and we could sort of venture off from there. Maybe that's what we do. We'll give that a little go, shall we? So put that down to there. And now we can go from here with two more deer. So one can go there. Oh, oh, hang on. Can we connect? Can we connect up? If we could connect up, that would be, hang on, do that. And then from here, go to there, connects up there. We've got one deer and one boar. Brilliant. And 63% of the map covered or uncovered. That's good. Where do we go now? There is, oh, hang on, hang on. Is there a bit down here? Okay, maybe down here, look. So send a deer just there. That links to some more forest down here, which is completely brilliant. Doesn't look like much else around that side. So maybe, do we go now from here up in this direction? Or do we go out in that direction, maybe? Let's try that, shall we? So go from here. We'll put you over there. Okay, nothing out here at all. It's it's big and sad and void of life. Okay, um, right. One deer could potentially head out there, but then oh, we have to hope that we find... The only thing is, hang on, hang on, come back. We've got a boar, we've got a deer. The boar and the deer can leave from here. The only thing is, I can't see any other areas where there's going to be life. We're this is part luck now. This is complete part luck. We've got no idea. Um, there's none down here, look. We've got no bees left. Can't see the down with the bees anyway. There's no green over here. There's nothing over there. There's a little tiny, tiny bit there. Can we, oh, we can't send the boar from there though. Or here. Ah, bother. Uh, and yeah, that might be a risk. If we put that there, that might be the end of it. This is a bit of a nuisance, this is, isn't it? We kind of want to get over here. We need to uncover that thing. That would have been brilliant if we had been able to do that. But okay, uh, maybe we send the deer over in that direction and we just hope, just fingers crossed, everybody, hope there's something good over there. Okay, can the boar get there? Okay, the boar can reach just there. Phew, 73% uncovered. Although now we only have one deer and I, I, we, I, we're stuck. We really are now clutching at straws. We can't get over there because of mountains. We're going to have to hope that something over here is... I know, but it's not going to be, is it? Because it would have, it would have an edge to it. Um, this is a bit of a problem. We might possibly stumble and fall at 73%, which is a bit of a nuisance. I kind of thought maybe we could muddle through with this first one, but uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. How are we going to do this and how are we going to play this? If we send it over here, we might uncover a good chunk of the map, but then we're going to run out of animals and it's going to be game over. Uh, if we put it there, that's going to be five, which means we could... Oh, we could get... Hang on. Hang on. If we take that deer there, put it there forms a brand new habitat we just get one back i thought it was going to give us two but no we spent one to create it um okay that didn't really do anything except maybe get us some points there uh, which are neither here nor there i don't think they do anything particularly points are generated by exploring new areas and finding points of interest 
Revealing bigger areas grants you more points, but you don't really do anything with the points. I don't know if you spend them on anything at the you know, end of the levels or whatever. I have no idea. Um, okay. This is going to have to be a bit of chance, isn't it? A bit of pot. Look, can we possibly find something just there? You ran out of animals. Botherations. Okay, right. Restart that one then. Let's give that another go. Now, I assume we get a brand new level. I assume it's not going to give us the same level again, because that would be silly, wouldn't it? So we had a bit of a river coming in from the right-hand side, didn't we? There we go. Different level. Let's see if we have any more joy with this one. So get us a deer and head right out to there. Okay, that's good news already. Then come down here. In fact, where are the things? There's one over there. There's a thing over there that we can go and look at, and it's really nearby, which is fantastic. Uh, okay, this is good. It's already on 11%. Marvellous. Uh, I think then, do we go from here, we can get some bees. Uh, oh, not quite. We can't quite get bees, but we could. Could we link those up? What's over there, look? Could we get the boar to go here? Okay, that was a decent size. We have got three deer to work with now. Um, can't send a deer from there. Ah, but we could send a deer from here to go just there and now we've got two deer and a couple of bees okay this is good so now send a bee to just there then we've got a deer from here this is good so go there put a deer over here that rhymes that's brilliant ah okay so again nothing obvious around here so we might have to kind of shuffle forward using a few of the deer so go to there try and reach over here if you can uh, yeah, look, we want to uncover that thing, because that'll give us a lot of map uncovered, I imagine. Right, so then go from there to there. That generates a deer that we can deploy from here. Go to there. We claim that. Big chunk of map uncovered, and a thousand points as well. Brilliant. And then also, from here, if we put a deer there, we've got some bees as well. So now, we've got three deer, a boar, and two bees. Oh, this is very good. Okay, and we've still got options here, and there are options there as well. Um, maybe the last map we have was a little bit mean. I'm not entirely sure. That was the first one I've properly done apart from the tutorial ones, but maybe it was a bit hard. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But there we go. So that sorted that out. 35% of the map uncovered. There is a bit over there that we can go to. That is... That's a good chunk of map, actually. So if we put that up there... That's uncovered some meadow. Put that down here. That's uncovered some more meadow. Already on 43%. We are flying through. If we can get down here, that would be particularly good, wouldn't it? Right. Four bees we can work with. So if we put a bee out there like that. Uh, okay. So we need, really, we need to go and claim these trees down here, I think. So if we put another bee here... And then we can deploy the bees from here. So then put you there. That's a new habitat. Ah, there is there is water. That is a little bit of a nuisance. That's going to get in the way and ruin things. Because, yeah, we can't cross that water. Oh, botherations. Okay, never mind. Um, We might have to possibly... Hang on, if we get a deer, put the deer there. And then get the other deer... Put it there. Then deploy the deer from here and put it there. That uncovers that bit of the map. 51%. How are we going to get the bees over here? Because if we get these bits over here, then we claim that and a huge big bit of map. So how are we going to do that? If we take a bee and we put you here and then another one next to it and then we can fly over and claim that bit. Although... There aren't any sort of meadowy bits over here. Well, there's meadowy bits there, but does that capture the middle bit? I'm not quite sure. Do you know what? Let's go for it. We'll put that there. Ah, it's created a thing over here. Brilliant. Okay. Then we'll put you there. That generates a B in these two tiles. So, oh, hang on. It's created a mixed. Oh, it's created a sort of a mixed, a mixed habitat. We can send a deer or a bee from here. Oh, that's fantastic. And if we send a bee to there... That should link to those two things. And there we go. Oh, it's a little island. It's on an island. Ah, right, okay. 
that might be why we yeah, we needed the bees to get to it because the animals, the deer and stuff can't go over the water. Okie doke. And now here we go. There's something over here, look. So can we put a bee over there? Now there's some trees over here. This is good. This is going well. Put a deer over there. That's brilliant. Okay, and then we can send that from there down to here. Um, okay. Any ah, There's a bit over here we could do, look. So send a deer over there. That's fantastic. And then possibly a bee over here. Is that going to uncover some more stuff? Yes. Okay, 67% of the map uncovered. Uh, down here looks pretty empty. Up here is looking okay. So hang on, we've got a bit here. Um, we can't, have we not got any deers? Oh, bother. We've got no deer. We've got no deer left. Okay, well, hang on, that could be an issue. But we can send some bees over here. Now we have a couple of deer. We'll grab a deer from there and put you over there. 70% of the map uncovered. That's pretty nifty. And then, are there any obvious bits where we need to send anybody? No, not that I can see. So I think we try and come down here. We've got plenty of bees. So come along, bee friends. You're the best animals. Come this way. Uh, oh, crikey. Okay, it's it's bereft of anything down here. So if we then go to here, send you out that way. Okay, there are some trees down here. There are some trees there. So get another bee like that. Oh, there's a habitat there. So hang on, if we send a bee there... That uncovers that. That gets us another bee. Put that down there. That's got some trees. 78%. We're 78% of the way through. And we've got five animals at our disposal. We should be able to do this now. Possibly. Maybe. We've got a higher chance than we had on the last one, I think. I think our best bet might be to break into that big bit of unexplored land there by getting some deer to go over here. So let's get you. We've got three available. So go there. Ah. Water. That is a little bit of a problem. That's an issue for these guys. Right, okay, hang on a minute. Put you there. So that means we can go from here, look. So we can push you out to there. We're on 82%. So we've completed the area, which is quite good. I'm quite happy about that. Um, okay, so I think if we go put you there, then we get a deer coming from that bit. Put that there. That connects up to that bit. Then we've got a deer coming from here that could connect up to that bit. That's a big bit of forest. Um, I mean, yeah, we're, we've done a pretty good job. 88% is not too bad at all. Let's try. Can we get over there somewhere? We can't really. We can't. We'd have to come round the edge of these mountains. So if we go from here, deploy a deer. Ah, that's not going to work, though, is it? That's not going to work because we've only got one deer and we can't deploy a boar from here because that bit's too small. Uh, oh, botherations. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe what we do is let's deploy a boar over in that direction. A deer go in that direction. Yes. Deploy a deer over in that direction. There's some water. Okay. Right. That's going to scupper that plan there. Never mind. So we can't go out that direction. Um, let's use a boar and a big clump of trees to uncover some more land. And we'll just fly the bees out somewhere to have a lovely time. In fact, you know what? Bees. Come down here, look, link up with that just there. That's all very lovely. Head over there, look. Yay for a bit of a mountain kind of uh, impassable bit just there. Never mind. And then we've got one boar. That's it. We've got one boar that we can use. How about you go just there? There we go. Ran out of animals, but we did complete the thing. Okay, we've got a new discovery. An airy. Okay, so what is that? Again, it looks like a sort of a man-made structure of some kind, like it's made of metal or whatever. But on the top of it is a nest and a huge egg that can now be found on the map. Uh, okay, ran out of animals. So now if we try again, if we try again, do we get some different animals? Do we get more than just bees and such like? Do we get different kind of zones now? Different kind of, sort of environments, biomes, whatever you want to call them? Let's dive in and have another go, shall we? Oh, I see. There's a list of discoveries, look. So if we claim 100 tiles or habitats adjacent to obstacles, we unlock the Bat Cave, which sounds completely amazing. We could have Batman and Robin in the levels. That would be good. A bottleneck has claimed 100 habitats with deer. Okay, we're not really close to getting any of these, I don't think. Are we close to getting any of these at all? No. Okay. Okay. We did get that one though. And yeah, these will come from the tutorial stuff. So we got all those from that, which is okay. I mean, yeah, we could find these. 
I suppose we could find these in the levels. But uh, yeah, additional points of interest. Send, oh, 50 mountain goats. There's mountain goats. There's a volcano. Reach the volcano for the first time. So it's a game that definitely kind of, uh, definitely works with a replay or two because you get more stuff from it. Let's dive in again. Let's dive in again and just have another go and see what happens. Maybe we'll find, I don't know, some of the stuff down here. Look, I don't know, lakes or island ruins or whatever. In fact, did we find the island ruin? We might possibly have found that already, but we might find that airy thing. I don't know. Let's go and see if we'll find it. Okay, here we go. Brand new level, and I think we have a point of interest right over there, so it's not that far away. And we haven't got any water around us. We haven't got any nemesis of the deer around, so they can just kind of move around freely, which is quite good. So I think from here, we head out over in that direction. Let's see if we can get down here a little bit. Although up here, we have got some bee friends. Okay, hello bee friends. So here we go, head over in that direction. Okay, water. The deer nemesis has returned with a vengeance. Okay, we can't do anything with that. We really need to get... We need to get the bees over here so they can cross over that bit. That's a bit of a bother. Okay, never mind. Right, put a deer over there. So that opens that bit up. Oh yeah, that's going to be really awkward. That's going to be really annoying, isn't it? Okay, fine. Uh, can we get can we get a deer from here to go to there? Uh, oh, we could. Is it worth running the boar in like that? There we go. Right, so the boar can come in, get that sorted. So we have got a bee. We've got one bee and three deer. I think as well, we can put a deer over there because there's got to be something over there, look. And there's also something over here. So run you over there. Okay, mountains. So impassable mountains over there. We are surrounded by the look of it. We've got water across here, mountains here, water down here. We are in a bit of a precarious situation. The bees, of course, can fly over. They can fly over here and start in this part of the world. But, oh dear, yeah, there's not a lot over here. So go there. Okay, then go there. Then, hang on, then head out from this one to go there. So that's four up here. If we send another couple of deer there, could we get a boar to go off in that direction? Is that even worth trying to do? We need to get down here. We need to get down here or over there, possibly. That might be, that might be something as well that we could try and do. Kind of head over there. That looks a bit tricky. Maybe up here we'll find a load of bees and we make our way around that way. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go from here, shall we? So we have got a few deer sort of you know, around to you know, make use of. So we'll go there, look. Then if we put you into there, that's five. So we get some deer from here. Oh yeah, look, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. If we can put... There is water there. That could be a bit of a nuisance. Okay, it's the new thing. It's the new thing, look. It's the area, whatever it was. The thing with the egg on it. Okay, if we could grab that, that would be fantastic. Okay, so go in like that. Uh, I mean, do we just... Do we just go next to it? How do we do this exactly? How do we capture it? Oh, we've captured it. Oh, hang on. What's that? Bird. The bird can scout huge unexplored areas. Oh, so it gives us an actual thing that we can use. Oh, that's really good. Um, okay, maybe then, possibly down here. Because if we can look down here and find some bees. Oh, yeah, that's really useful. If we can go, say, there. And that might let us see what's down this part of the world. Okay, do that. So the bird it actually does sweep over, look. There it is. Hello, bird friend. Oh, we've uncovered... Ah, bees. Okay. Right, we might have to come down this way to try to get to that thing. Bit of a convoluted way round, but I think we'll be okay. So if we get a deer going to there, and a deer going to there, and put you going to there, this is good. And if we get another one going in like that, that gives us access to a boar from here, which could be quite useful. They're not claimed, but we could claim them with a deer. Okie doke. And then send another deer from there to there. And then hang on. Then there's some dark bits there. So there must be a bit of forest over there. And hang on a minute. Then we put that there. And we've got that little thing just there. Whatever that is. A little kind of fun foresty hut or something. I don't know what that is. But we start it. It looks like what we start with. It looks like whatever that thing is. But okay. So we've captured the two points of interest and we got help from a gigantic bird, which is brilliant. That, that actually was very helpful as well. Thank you, bird friend. Thank you. Uh, okay. So now I think, can we get, we can't go over there with you, but 
we could with the boar. And there we go. That opens this up. Then we can go over here. Then we can go over there. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay. That might be a bit more troublesome. Um, okay, we might need to go like that. Hang on. Then go to there. And then from here, go to there. That allows us to have a boar. But we'll put a deer out like that for now. Uh, hang on. Right. The boar. Can the boar get round there next to the bees? Okay, hello bees. I mean, can we just sort of fill this up? We need six more percent and then we're done. Then we're done. The only thing is, yeah, there's only one bee. We only have one bee over there. That's not very good. Over here, there's something though. Down there, there's some trees in that corner, I suspect. Anything else down here? Look, hang on a minute. There's going to be something over here as well. 77%. Down here, there's going to be bees because that's a slightly different colour. Oh, lots of bees. Yay for a huge amount of bees. They can go from here. We fly out like that. And then we get another bee to go here. Then get a bee to go into the middle. Oh, I was supposed to go in the middle, but it made a nice sort of loopy bit. So that's fine. And then get a bee to go there. Then get a bee to go up here, possibly. Get another one to go next to it. Get a bee to go from... Oh, hang on. Go from here, get a go from here and get a deer. Oh, this this map is either because I've played it a bit more, I know what I'm doing, or this map is just being quite sort of you know forgiving. Maybe it's that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll put a deer there. Uh, okay, hang on. We'll put one like that. Then we'll connect that up like that. There is a bit over there, so connect that up. So ninety-four percent of the map uncovered. I mean, I that's that's pretty good, isn't it? Where's the biggest bit which we haven't uncovered? Bit in the corner, bit over here, big chunk over here, and a bit of a strip down there, but that's going to be hard to uncover. Uh, let's just, oh, hang on, hang on, go there. That uncovers another bit in the middle, wonderful, up to 97%. I mean, I don't think we're going to get it to 100%, but let's just keep going, shall we? So head out in that direction. Uh, ooh, on 99%. I don't think it's 99% uncovered. I'm not entirely sure, but... Um, Okay. Oh, hang on. We didn't complete the last level. I've misunderstood what that means. Explore 80% of the map to fill the progression bar. Oh, so we didn't succeed last time. Oh, there we go. I wonder how many of you were screaming at the screen going, you didn't complete it last time, Pen. You didn't finish it properly, for goodness sake. Oh, so we're on 99% out of the 80% we need to finish the map off. Oh, there we go. Right, that makes a bit more sense. So... Got another deer. So if we go to there, there we go. You have successfully explored the area. Choose where you want to continue. That's how you're supposed to do it, Penj. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, let's go there. That'll do. Okay, so we uncover a little bit down here. And then it just carries on. It just carries on. Oh, there's a bit there and a bit there. Well, there we go. There we go. I feel slightly silly now but there we go never mind no, you live and learn you live and learn that I, I kind of misread that thing down there I thought we had to get to 80% on that to complete the level and then the game would be happy but no that's not how that works at all okie don't cry never mind um I think we go there with that that gets us some forest over there although we are struggling a bit over here is that one two three four six so we could get a boar going out from here the thing is, where do we send, where do we send the boar? Uh, I can't see anything else which we can do around here. We could do with getting to that and getting to that. I mean, that one seems nearer, but you never know what's in the way. There might be some obstacles to just you know, interfere with things. Um, we've got two bees. Uh, is it worth, I'm going to keep the bees. I can't see any of the green bits. We're going to have to take a bit of a... Uh, Bit of a hopeful dash out into the wilderness there. Uh, okay, so you... Do we send a boar? Ah, the boar can reach over there. Perfect, okay. Right, bees round that corner. Please... Oh, hang on. There's bees here. There's bees. Hang on, come out of that. There's bees there. Can we reach that with the dit? No. Uh, okay, hang on. From here, we can reach that with the boar. Okay, bees. Yay for bees. Can bees fly... They can go over water, but they can't go round. I uh, can't go over mountains. Botherations. Okay. That is a bit of a nuisance. Okay. Put you there. 
that doesn't really help anybody at all. That's not great, if we're being honest. We're going to be left with a number of bees. Uh, how are we going to do this then exactly? So if we get you to come round here, and then get you to go there, and then get you to go... I mean, if you go here, that links that together, look. And then we get a deer from that. So we've got two deer... There is something there which we could try and go to. But okay, now we can start the bees from here. But the only thing is they can't reach. They can't reach unless we put... How, how far do the bees go? They can fly over water. If we deployed a bee from here, one, two... They go three. One, two, three. So if we got a deer, put a deer there, one, two, three, that might work. Okay, put a deer here. That turns that into a deer tile. The bee can set off from there. The bee can now go one, two, three, round the corner of the mountains, over to here, 23% of the way through. So we're again working toward exploring 80% of the current map. I now understand how that works. Uh, right, get a deer coming down here. Now there's some more bees, and we're getting very close to that thing. Okie dokie, right. So if we try, it would be good if we could get that done, wouldn't it? We can't get around there at all. There are mountains in our way, which is a bit of a nuisance. Uh, if we... How are we going to work this? There is something there. We could get a deer, two things and a deer down here. Would that let us kind of move out from here? This has got... It's got quite tricky, hasn't it? Hang on, can we go from there? Ah, right, okay, that might help. Okie doke, so now we're back up to three deer. But that doesn't really help us over here very much. We need a boar. I haven't got a boar. We're going to get a boar to run from there to there. That'd be fantabulous, but I don't think we're going to get that done. Unless we get... What's that? One, two, three, four. Unless we build that up with two deer to give us a boar to then run down to here. Uh, we could... Do you know what? Is it worth... Is it worth trying that? Or do we... I don't think that's worth doing. Uh, that might open up other stuff here, though. There might be a big load of mountains. We've got no idea. We can't see. Uh, let's give that a go. Let's put that there. And then we'll grab you. Put you there. So now we get a boar, which is brilliant. So we can put the boar here. That can run in. Okay, so back up to two deer. And that didn't really help. It moved us down here a bit. But other than that, it's not really revealed that much of the map. Okay, what can we do over here, look? Um, could we... Oh, we can't go from there, can we? It's only size one botherations. One, two, three. And then another one. No, that's not going to work. It's not going to work over there. Uh, right. I suspect maybe we're not going to get much further than this. We've got one bee and two deer, and I'm all out of ideas. What if we just take a bit of a speculative guess and send a deer over to there, look? Okay, not brilliant. Okay, put another deer next to it. That generates a deer from that place. But now we've only got one deer and one bee. It's, it's a sad state of affairs. It's not going to do much at all. Um, I think this might be it, Miner. Yeah, the bee can... It can sort of go over here and stuff, but it's not going to do anything overly overly handy, I don't think. I don't think we can do much with the bee. And the deer can just sort of run down to there, but it's not going to do much. Let's put the, let's put you over there. Like just for this, Oh, hang on. We uncovered... The, oh, it's another bird. We found another bird. And it did work because we're next to it. We've claimed it. Oh, okay. No, I'll take that. That's good. Yes, we'll have that. Thank you. I'm quite happy with that. Can we get it over 40%? Well, I mean, we might be able to if we use the bird. If we use the bird... Hang on, where's our most likely point where we can actually do something? Where can we actually sort of possibly dispatch some animals from? Given that we have one bee, it might have to be around here somewhere. Um, so if we put... I don't know, if we put that there, look. The bird can come over. It can swoop around in the brilliant way it does. 46% of the map uh, revealed. And... Yeah, we're, we're all out of ideas, look. We're all out of ideas. We can't do much else. Can we go there? No. We could go here. We'll ju let's just fly the bee out. There we go. Ran out of animals. But there we go. Okay, so 20,600. And we have an additional point of interest. That can now be found on the map. Okie dokie. Did we unlock anything else? 
No, we didn't. Okay, so let's go and take a look at how near we are to unlocking new bits and bobs. Oh, look at that. We nearly got the bat cave. We are 14 tiles or habitats adjacent to obstacles away from having a bat cave. That would have been quite fun. Bottleneck, three quarters of the way there. That's pretty good from just a few playthroughs. Grove about halfway. Flower field about halfway. That's about halfway. We're not doing too badly. We're not doing too badly at all. A beaver dam. That's quite fun. Send 100 boars would get us a great forest thing on the map. That'd be quite exciting. A mountain pond. There are ducks. Send 100 ducks. Okay, that's fun. There is a volcano. Now, they do mention that on the Steam store page, I think it is. And I think what you have to do is you have to kind of calm the volcano down because, of course, it's spewing out all sorts of, you know, red hot magma and all that kind of stuff. And it's making a nuisance. So I think you have to try to calm the volcano down a bit. I'm not quite sure how you do that. But there's a volcano, there's ducks. And, of course, there are mountain goats. There's quite a lot going on. Do you know what, though? I think we will finish things up for now with our little look at growth. I think we have had a pretty good look at the game, see what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And when I say how it works, we eventually worked out how it works because, of course, the first proper run we had there, where it didn't end really early, was um was not entirely ended properly. I misunderstood that whole 80% thing. And it just, yeah, I just didn't get that. I just didn't pick up on it at all. But at least we did find out on the sort of, yeah, the latest room we did. At least we worked that out. And then, of course, we got to see that the things we unlock here, so the, whatever it was, the airy was here. Where is it? Scrolling score. That thing there. It does give you an in-game bonus. It gives you a thing to do. So you can call upon the bird to reveal bits of the map. So I imagine other things might do the same sort of thing. The mountain cave might have a bonus and the mountain dam might do something and the forest cave might do something. I quite like that. I quite like that. So yeah, it's a game which does very much kind of, you know, it does reward replays of it and it's really quick you can play this game very quickly indeed i mean obviously i'm talking through it but you could play one of these entire games really quickly in what five minutes possibly you could just fly through just click around get it done and then even if you fail you're working toward these things here so do you know what it's really good i like that that was a fun little game just a little bit of a different twist on the whole sort of hex tile thing normally you're putting down fields and farms and lakes and grasslands all that kind of stuff this one you're revealing those using animals so it's a little bit different which is quite fun it makes it it's a bit of a twist on the whole hex thing there but there we go we'll wrap things up for now hopefully you did enjoy this if you did please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time we found a whale pandas Hello, panda friend. Oh, you're adorable. Good dear, it was too dear. Penguin, penguin, penguin. Peacock. Oh, we've got an owl. We've got manta rays. Parrots. And there we go, beavers, yay. Yes, it was an eagle. It's a turtle. We've got a narwhal. We've got frogs. This is, I love this.